So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Just like that, the god took away me. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone. Until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. Completed stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? Oh, wow. of the Seven! There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods... Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There are 
a few among the set Han Han? As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it! the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Yeah. Huh? you got from the Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous! Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting power? Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Over there. 
Let's go take a closer look. Be careful! Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here! Hey, you! Stop right there! May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. Uh, a hilly churl. have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like... Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me! A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely! Is this an answer from this world?
Не! Under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Jean, with Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm tear. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. to give you is a wind glider 
Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. 
I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Keep this close. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Paimon will help, too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. 
I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple.
prepared my secret weapon, Explosive Puppet Fairy Bunny. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up! No one escapes my sights! we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history, it's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes, it is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. 
Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the four winds. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. This moment will be frozen in time. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Freeze! Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting Grand Master about it. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. There's no way Hilly Turtles organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but 
Your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Board on the road. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need a good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brain. So, what does that leave?
I guess I could... I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Let's ride this wind current, shall we? Leave it to me. It's an Electro Monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of Electro Power. Stand back, sweeties. For a little shock. Come a little closer. He you're in for a little ha! Let it rain. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> you're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. Closer. Blitz. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. <laughs> well, a chain lightning can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. One of those consolidated wind things. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Let's head back to the Dragon Statue of the, of the East, Seven at Wind Drive of the and South, offer it to the Wolf gods. of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. 
though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four wind's power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. All that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Yeah. 